Hello everyone and welcome to this brand new series right here on Vladpox Tech, which is an introduction to the ultimate guide to customizing Microsoft 365 Copilot. Let me start off by telling you why I'm even starting off this series, why it's important. You see, for the past 18 months since Microsoft started talking about Copilot, the messaging changed a lot. And we all know how much we love rebrandings as IT pros and users. And depending on who you talk to, Microsoft pitches it differently from your personal assistant to the UI for AI, as Satya said at the last Ignite. And somebody recently asked me, Vlad, what is Copilot? Is it a product? Is it a suite of products? Is it a platform you built on? Or is it all of the above? Kind of reminds me about the discussions we had about SharePoint almost a bit more than a decade ago. And don't get me wrong, I understand why people are confused because first of all, Copilot is a product that you access at copilot.microsoft.com or a different URL for enterprises. And that product is in a way like a chatbot, very similar to ChatGPT or Claude AI. It's also a suite of products because we have Copilot Chat, Microsoft 365 Copilot, we have Copilot in the Power Platform, Copilot in Dynamics, and many more. But more importantly, we talk so much about agents right now, which are built on top of Copilot. And me personally, I already have over 10 hours of training on Pluralsight on how to use the Copilots built by Microsoft, but as we get into 2025, which many say is the year of aging and the year of custom Copilots, and we'll talk more about that rebranding soon, we have to admit that Copilot is an even more valuable tool when you customize it for your organization. When it not only has access to all your data in Microsoft 365, but really all your data, what it answers in the tone and format that you needed for your company with your logic. So that's why I'm doing this series, but I have even more good news. You see, I won't be doing this series alone. I'm really good at using Copilot that's built by Microsoft. I can do a few things to customize it without code, but to truly take it to the next level, sometimes you need a dev. And well, the best dev I know is sitting uh, right here next to me and is Sebastian Levert. Uh, Seb, thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to be here today. I am so happy that we get to first spend some time together. Yes. That's a great <laughs> thing. But the second thing is that I get to present with you on a topic that is very near and dear to my heart. I'm really happy to be here. Well, Seb, almost everybody knows you in the Copilot community. However, uh, I prepared some info slides for you. And I know it's super fun when somebody prepares your yeah. info slides and you don't know what they are on it. This so. is scary now. <laughs> so first of all, a uh, new promotion not that long time ago, a principal PM. Is that a PPMM? It's a principal <laughs> PM manager. Principal PM manager on the M365 Copilot Dev X team. Yep. What's that team? So it's a team that builds all the developer tooling for uh, customizing M365 Copilot. That includes uh, integrations in some of our uh, VS Code extensions we have called the Team Toolkit. Uh, this is integration into uh, some of the uh, experiences we have in, uh, in the chat experience and so much more. When we're gonna showcase a lot of that today. Uh, well, you're the right person for the job for this series then. Uh, you also have a little patent cube that I see when we when you're back home in the office that I see. So I like put here, you created something cool enough for Microsoft to say, hey, we're going to patent this thing. What was it? So we, uh, with uh, three other colleagues, uh, two advo advocates, uh, Waldeck Masticars and Gary Trinder, um, and uh, Gavin Barron, which is also in my team, the engineering side, um, we uh, took advantage of one of the best week in Microsoft, which is the Hackathon week, yeah. um, and where we created a really cool uh, tool that helps devs test when you're calling uh, external APIs. Um, it's, a, it's a product you might have seen. It. It's called a Dev Proxy today, uh, and some of the concepts in there, we were able to patent it. It was kind of a, a checklist item that we wanted to get to, 
and uh, we're quite uh, happy and honored about it. That's awesome. And you used to be an MVP? Yes. For seven years? Six, six five, five years? six, seven. I don't remember exactly how many. Back when we were working together at Valo and Tutu Lead and things like that. That's ex ex exactly. And, and I, I remember that program is still very near and dear to my heart. Still love to meet with the MVPs uh, on an almost daily basis. And always such a, a great moment to kind of gather everybody up together, go back to Redmond and have these uh, great events at the MVP Summit. We still love to bug you on the team, on the MVP team. So it's perfect. <laughs> Sad, sadly, sometimes. <laughs> and for those of you that Seb's on the channel, that Seb's face seems familiar, uh, it's because we have already done a series together. And this was the building the ultimate modern SharePoint intranet. And that's a while ago. It's been a couple of years, but now that has over 100,000 views. Wow. Which is amazing. But my goal is for this series to even have more than that. So that is the goal right now. Okay, so what will this series include? This series, at least to get started, will include seven videos. This one, so you're almost done one, uh, it will include a ton of deep dive demos. We have to do some slides at some point, especially as we talk about concepts but I'll, we'll try to have mostly demos and lots of funny and some dad jokes. <laughs> and Seb, since you're a SharePoint dev, I have a joke for you. Uh, I'm listening. Why did SharePoint go to the beach? I don't know that. To build its sandbox solutions. Thank you very much, Lyle, <laughs> for this one. <laughs> That's the best one I could come up with. I'll, I'll, work, I'll, I'll work on some more for the next episode. I, I appreciate that. Uh, now let's talk about the episodes in the series. The uh, first one, which is coming right up after uh, this one will be the next videos in the series, will be all about terms and concepts. And that's one that, Seb, I really need a lot of clarification on because uh, so many things have changed in the past six months. We went from co-pilots to agents, and then we had custom engine, declarative, plugins. Some of those things remain, some of those things change. So uh, this will really be that video in which we will uh, cover the bases, that solid foundation. Then I'll get to do one because this one has no code. So that's, <laughs> that's for me, it'll be creating agents from SharePoint. So I'm really excited to do that one. I still love SharePoint a lot. I still do a lot of SharePoint, so that will be fun. But after that, Seb will take it over. So Seb, I'll let you talk about the, uh, what the next episodes are about. Then we're gonna dive into kind of the next step of what the uh, agent in SharePoint would be. So we're gonna extend M365 Copilot, Microsoft 365 Copilot with Agent Builder. We will be using the experience that lives inside Business Chat, inside M365 Copilot, to extend its capabilities. Bring agents that are grounded in your organizational data that also covers some of the really cool capabilities we had in there with Code Interpreter, Graphic Arts, and a couple of nice surprises. Then afterwards, we're gonna extend uh, Copilot with built-in graph connectors. Graph connectors are a great concept to bring data inside Microsoft 365 to be able to leverage that data using our semantic indexing, meaning that you can ask natural language questions and then the data will talk back to you. And that is really cool. So we're gonna bring some of that. After that, we're gonna build some Copilot connectors with code. So then we're gonna dive into code. And that's where- um, You'll be happy. I'll be happy, <laughs> but I think you also in the audience will, will appreciate the fact that there are really cool capabilities coming down the pipe uh, on these. And finally, we're gonna build a, um, what we call a declarative agent using code. So how does it play in the end-to-end -end story for a developer to go a little bit above and beyond to what Agent Builder offers for the maker or for the information worker? How can we leverage a, a, the dev persona to really bring a ton of value straight to um, Microsoft 365 Copilot? So that's gonna cover kind of my side of the house. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to it. And again, if there's things like Seb mentioned, a declarative agent, if you have no idea what they are at this point, that's okay. That's absolutely We cool. will cover all of them. I also want to say that the cool thing is that this series will increase in complexity with every episode. And uh, 
Of course, we hope you'll listen to every single episode. And when we mean complexity, you of course have to assume that the cooler thing you create, the more complicated it is. Uh, so uh, as we go into code, if you have a code background, it will be a lot easier for you to understand that. But even if you don't and you just want to know what's possible, that is okay for you. You will enjoy then you'll see what's possible. But we would love if you actually open up Visual Studio or open up SharePoint and follow along and do all of those with us. And uh, Copilot never stops evolving. No. Sometimes we wish they would take a little break. No. And at least on the rebrands. I feel like under rebrands, I wish they would take a little <laughs> break. But anyway, so we have the initial plan for the first seven episodes, but we hope this series will grow even more in the future. I know that in May, Microsoft Build is coming up. Well, I don't know if we know the usual dates yet, but it's always usually in May. Somewhere in May. So I'm sure they're going to announce new ways for us to customize Copilot or again, rebrand something. So if you enjoyed this series, want to connect with us on social media, you have all of our social networks in the description right below. So uh, I know Seb is really active on Blue Skies uh, those days, but of course we're both on LinkedIn, both still on X, which still I want to call it Twitter. Yeah, so we all want to we call it X. All uh, call it Twitter. And on this, well, we're done for the intro. Looking forward to see you in the next video. And uh, if you'll see the playlist appear on the screen right now, and if there's any episodes that are not out yet, make sure you follow the channel. This way you'll get notified as soon as they're out. So thank you so much and see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>